welcome back guys so it's it has been long time uh, after the first video but uh, because i was busy in some personal stuffs but uh, i will i will keep continuing from now onwards so uh, this will be the second part of a, a series of this episode on my youtube channel so before starting this episode like installing or hitting the first request i would like to cover some basic concepts of java which is uh, which are generally used in this episode mostly so one of the thing which uh, you see in all the examples of this episode that is static import okay and uh, this is widely used so before learning this episode so just i want to explain the concept of static import in java and what is that and uh, why we use it when we should not use it something like that uh, some basic steps we are going to learn about uh, static import in this particular video okay so uh, before going to the definition and then going back to going to going for an example let's do do an example first then we'll come back to the definition which is the best way of learning okay so here is eclipse and i have workspace created here and let me quickly create a java project okay and uh, let me create a java project here okay so maybe i can give uh, java basics okay and uh, let me create a package here very simple package i'll create and i'll give the name like uh, static import example okay what i will do i'll create uh, let me create a utility right utility method or utility class okay like suppose if you are using selenium or you are using any other automation to the generally create some utility right so that we can use those methods in our scripts correct so similarly i'm going to create one simple utility class in a utility methods okay okay and what i will do like uh, suppose i want to print something so we know that we have some statements or some methods to print something on console but simply i want to have method like uh, public void print something okay and let me give some body to it and it will do to some print like uh, print something okay and let me create another method and let me name it like public void add okay two numbers like int a comma int b okay so sys out again i am not uh, simply i am doing a plus b okay so if you see this particular class contains some static methods right uh, sorry uh, some methods utility methods so generally uh, whenever we are creating some utility class so generally we okay so let me go and create one usage class of it okay which will consume the methods from utility okay so let me create another class and i will you i will name it like uh, usage class okay usage class and in this what i will do i will create a main method okay and what i want to do i want to use methods define utility methods within the usage class okay so let me create an object why because all the methods define in utility methods class are non static okay and to access a non static members we must need to create an object of that class okay so let me create an object okay now i can use both the methods or i can call both the methods okay so let me add two numbers add and 10 and 20 another is something like i think print something right okay so let me go and uh, run it and i will get some output here okay 30 and print something okay so generally if you see here 
we are creating an object of utility methods okay which is uh, something like unnecessarily here because we're creating an object which will take in memory and we know that uh, all the non-static members will be loaded into memory when you, we create an object of that class right and every object will share the uh, sorry, we'll we'll have their own separate copy of those non-static members of a class, right? So generally, what we can do, we can uh, use the static, okay? Static here. What would the advantage? What would the advantage? Because these are gen simply utility methods, so there's no need to create unnecessarily object here, okay? Of that class. What you can do? We can use the class name edge difference and you can say that a hey, call this add method from utility methods class similarly here why because whenever uh, whenever we load a class or whenever a class is loading in memory all the static members will be loaded at that time itself that's why we are able to access static method without creating any object of that class okay so cool like this is good actually good practice to have utility method as static so that you can directly call it okay but suppose now here uh, suppose in utility method you have 100 methods okay you may be right because it is utility correct so every time you need to use the class name reference class name reference okay then dot and then you need to call the method name okay so it's like something called boilerplate code or something called uh un they repeated the uh, uh, statement right so there's one concept called static import okay what is static import it is similar uh, to uh, like what you need to do we have something we use the import uh, keyword to write generally write the uh, some statement so that we can import any class right similarly here in, in instead of import only we need to write import static okay then what i need to write uh, utility okay utility methods okay dot so dot here we can see we can see both the methods like add and print something okay so what it means like if i want to uh, import only specific method we can go by the name okay like this or if i want to uh, means import all the public static members of this class then i can use the star okay like this one okay so what would the advantage here now there's no need to use this utility method class difference also okay can you see there's no error and we are able to use it okay so let me format it can you see there's no i am not using any class reference here but still i am able to use it use the method of utility me, uh, methods class why because we have use import static or something called static import which allows us to import all the public and static methods of a class okay public and static method of class so here in utility method we have two static methods right and we can do static import of those methods directly okay if i want to import a particular one like suppose if i import only add right then we can see there's no error for add but there's error for print something method why because i have done only add method imported static import but not for print something if I want all the methods, all the public and static method of the class would be imported statically, you need to use dot star. Okay. So this is the concept of import static. Okay. It it eliminates the boilerplate code and also there's no repeated code. You need to you need to write like you have seen earlier. I have written, I have given the reference of utility methods every time. Okay, but there is now no need of that okay so now you may ask like we have only seen the uh, methods here can we statically import variables okay yes you are correct we can do so the general definition says that by using a static import we can 
import members public and static members of class okay in members will include both methods and variables okay so let me do utility methods i will do what i will do public static int salary okay let me put some 10000 okay in salary so here salary is a variable in this class and that variables will can also be imported using the static import so suppose i want to print the salary here what i'll do sys out i can directly use the salary okay can we see we are not showing up any error okay okay and let me run it okay can you see so by using static import we can import statically any public and static members of the class okay which in whenever whenever i use the term members it means that variables and methods okay so now let's go to ppt and see that whatever we have just seen as an example whether my ppt is saying the same thing or not okay so what is static import a feature that allows public and static always remove public and static okay that is fields and methods members means fields variables and functions or methods of a class to be used in java code without specifying the class in which the field had been defined okay i have shown you that example like when i i didn't do the static import i need to mention the class name okay but now using static import that is gone there's no need to write that thing okay and that feature was introduced in the uh in the jdk 1.5 this is uh, good to know because in sometimes in objective interview questions they ask this question so we should know that static import was introduced in version 1.5 okay let's go to next slide and syntax yeah suppose when we uh, i have shown you just if i want to import single method or individual method right then we can directly name, uh, mention the method name right but if i want to import all the public and static methods of a class then i need to use star okay you can see the first three statement will be calling a single will be importing statically single method like pi power and out okay but the last one it will statically import all the public and static method of class maths okay okay so next slide is like about difference between import and static input and this is very important question for freshers at least okay so like whenever we are writing any import statement that statement imports the class okay imports the class okay and there's no need to write the complete path of uh, package package qualification and all okay but using import uh, static import we are importing members of that class okay without mentioning the class qualification okay so if you're getting confused so let me show you here so if you see here like system system is a class right and out is the static property okay static property of this one okay so here also you can use the uh, you can also call like let me write it like import okay and uh, uh, this system class is from lang package java dot lang dot system okay dot okay so what we can do here we can remove the system also okay and we can actually use out dot print ln sorry i forgot the word static here okay so once i use the import static automatically that's array is gone and we can use this print statement without static okay 
and here what i was saying that simple import and static import suppose if i have another package here and i will name it like uh, another package okay and there's one class in this package called suppose demo okay okay let me go to usage class and uh, let me add one method here simply quick method like uh, public void d okay some i'm not giving any body because that is for example purpose here so if suppose i want to call uh, d method of demo class right so first thing i need to uh, create an object right of demo class if i create an object uh, simply writing demo d equal to new demo right but it is giving me an error because here java java is not able to identify from where you are referencing demo right so first we need to import it right if i simply do demo uh say control and space i get this demo from another package we can see import another package dot demo what is another package this that is the name of package and then we have class so simply simple import will import a class okay import a class okay but whenever using import static it imports the members uh, public static members of that class so that is the difference and that's that's what i have written here and i have taken this reference uh, taken this statement from the official document of java which where they have clearly mentioned okay that's why i have copied from there okay hope you will be understanding this okay and the main question went to use static import okay the first line like avoid it as much as possible yeah that is true in this session when uh, when i was learning so there were a lot of uh, static import and i was not able to know like from which class it is coming okay hey like, suppose here uh, suppose we have multiple classes multiple utility methods okay and uh, sorry multiple utility, utility classes and they have several methods okay suppose if i import the method from all those classes right so if if i go if i go to that code after some time or someone else is going to that code they will not able to understand from where you are calling this method easily right so that type of problem will face means static import was introduced to increase the readability but excessive use of static import will decrease the readability okay it's very it will create the confusion okay it will create the confusion like from where it is coming okay like suppose here if you see add method if you are if someone is new or they are not aware of what is that can put then maybe you, they are not aware like what is from where add is coming okay so uh, and it is not possible to remember everything like which method belong to which class okay so static import should be avoided as much as possible and can be used if you have one or two classes uh, it would can say from where you have static mem mem methods or members so that you can easily use it okay but excessive use will be very difficult and you reduce the readability of your code itself okay so generally whenever I, whenever i will take the research sessions i will not take or i will not use the static import much okay but just but uh, just for the interview uh, interview uh, point of view i will explain where you can use the static import okay so uh, that's all about the static import and i hope this concept will be clear for you so this is a very simple concept and not a big deal here so if you have any question if you have any comment or you if you have any feedback suggestion you can always comment on my youtube video down and uh, i hope because i need your support i need your feedback so that i can improve my videos here okay so thank you everyone and uh, will i will come with the next uh, next part of this uh, research session thank you